Hi guys, welcome to fourth grade, chapter one, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So all this wants to know is which numbers are bigger or smaller. Um, as you can see, I have taken the number from the right-hand side and written it underneath the number from the left-hand side so that I can really compare the two numbers and see. So the first number is the same. I'm just gonna cross that out. I don't need to know about that, okay? The second number, this side's a three, the other side's a four. That means that side is bigger, okay? Now, we're gonna go over here, and I've written the number. The five is the same. The five is the same, the two is the same, the six is the same, the nine is the same, and the last two is the same, which makes them equal, okay? All right, so now, the first number here is a four and the first number here is a six, but this four is in the hundred thousands and the six is in the ten thousands. That means that the four is bigger because this essentially has a zero right there. Okay, I want you guys to do five through nine. You totally can, I believe in you. We're gonna go down and do the number 10. Okay, so I'm gonna write the numbers here. Two, three, seven, one, zero. Two, three, seven, five, one. Two, three, seven, one, five. It is very important when you are doing this to line up your columns, okay? So my twos are the same, my threes are the same, my sevens are the same. Now I have two that start with a one and one that starts with a five. So now I'm gonna look at the ones that have a one and the next one on this one's a zero and this one's a five, which means that this one is smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and write two, three, seven, one, zero. So now that means that one is off my list. And this one I know is next because it's the other one that has a one in that place. So I'm gonna write two, one, three. I'm sorry, two, three, seven, one, five. Okay, which means I only have one number left, which is two, three, seven, five, one. Okay, line them up, line up your columns, make sure that they're lined up correctly, and then go ahead and do 11 through 13. Okay, cross off any that are the same like I did, and then just compare the numbers that are different. Okay, we're gonna go down and do number 14 says that an online newspaper had 350,080 visitors in October and 350,489 visitors in November and 305,939 in December. What is the order of the months from grace, greatest to least? So we want biggest to smallest this time, okay? So I'm gonna write my numbers down. I'm gonna write them down in my pencil. So three, five, zero, zero eight zero three five zero four eight nine and three zero five nine three nine now this is why it's important to line up your columns because our threes are the same oops you guys can't even see that sorry about that our threes are the same now i have two that have fives there and one that has a zero so it's going to be one of these guys Okay, that's first because we're going biggest to smallest. It wants greatest to least, okay? So now I know it's gonna be one of these guys. The five is the same, the zero is the same, but now I have a four here. So it's, I'm gonna write three, five, zero, four, eight, nine. And then I'm gonna write three, five, zero, zero, eight, zero. And then the last one is going to be 305, because it has a zero here and the other ones have a five. Nine, three, nine. Okay, so that would be, let's see, this one is October. This one is November. And that means that this one would be December. Okay. All right, let's go over to number 15. It says the total land area and square miles of each three states is shown. 
Okay, what is the order of the states from least to greatest? So now we need the numbers from smallest to biggest. I'm gonna write them again over here. So 103, 718, 1, 2, 1, 3, 5, 6, and 1, 1, 3, 6, 3, 5. It looks like they're gonna make it easy on us and only the ones are the same in this one. So I'm gonna cross out my ones. Okay, now the next smallest one, because we're going least to greatest, so the next smallest one has a zero in the ten thousandths place. Okay, so that one is going to be Colorado. That's C-O. Okay, that one's off my list. The next smallest, one of them has a two and one of them has a one. Well, it's going to be the one that has a one, which is Arizona. A-Z which means the only one that we have left is going to be New Mexico. All right, guys, we're gonna turn it over where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. We're gonna go down and do the spiral review, okay? All right, we're gonna write a fraction that is less than five six, but has a denominator of eight. I love this, guys. Okay, so we are going to write down, oops, I'm gonna make that a six in the top of five. Okay, so we need to make a fraction that is less, but has a denominator of eight. Okay, so we need this one to be smaller. Okay, which means if I do, I'm gonna do a quick little chart over here of just the two, okay? So this one I'm gonna split up into six, and this one I'm gonna split up into eight. Okay, so now five six. that is all of this guy, okay? So that means that this one just has to be less than right about six eighths, okay? So I can have one eighth, I could have two eighths, I could have three eighths, I could have four eighths, I could have five eighths, I could even have six eighths, okay? So you could have any one of those numbers, just pick one, you don't need a whole bunch of them, just one, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go over to number four. It says, what is the perimeter of the rectangle below? Well, perimeter is the area around the, so we're not doing any multiplication, we're just adding up the sides, okay? So I know that eight and eight is 16, and I know that six and six is 12. I'm gonna add those guys up for eight and two. So it's gonna be 28 inches, okay? All right, we're gonna go down to number five. It says a website had 826,140 hits last month. What is the value of the eight? Okay, so I'm gonna write the number out. Okay, and it wants the value of the eight. So I'm gonna drop that number down, and then one, two, three, four, five zeros afterwards. Okay, every number after the number it's asking for gets dropped to a zero, okay? All right, we're gonna go over. Okay, we need to write out 680,705 in expanded form. So all we're doing is taking the numbers for what they're worth. So the six is in the hundred thousandths place, so it's gonna be 600,000 plus the eight is in the 10 thousandths place, so that's gonna be 80,000. Plus, I have a zero. I don't have to do anything with a zero. But that seven is in the hundredths place, so 700. Another zero I don't have to touch, and then five. I'm gonna squeeze it in over here just so it's all on one line. Okay, that is your expanded form. That's all you have to do, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 1.3. Come on back for 1.4. See you soon.